I'm just so surprised how, I mean, some big companies are getting like the green light to go forward. Mm -hmm. Like uh, James Cameron is getting with uh, Avatar. Avatar. Yeah, Avatar 2. It's, I don't know, it's shocking because like you'd think, like everybody's still kind of in quarantine, but it's sort of clearing up, but it's in that like gray area, Mm -hmm. which I feel like it's just a weird place to be in general. And I don't know. And then I just I read the article about like James Cameron, mm-hmm. like they they were giving the green light uh, by the uh, the production company and the insurance. And I don't know. I I think that's going to be a very interesting dynamic as to how that's going to work because of the amount of restrictions they're going to have to like employ. And I wonder if it's I don't know the number of how badly COVID <laughs> reached because I know they're filming at New Zealand. And I wonder how that will, like, them filming at New Zealand with all of their protocols will affect the production time. And I wonder if it'll, like, if it'll take longer than it usually would due to these certain, like, social distancing guidelines or if you have to have less people on set. I mean, also, James Cameron movies are, like, such a different breed Mm -hmm. because, like, they always take, like, more than any other movie ever to in production and stuff like that. They're so crazy. I love them. (laughs) It's it's great to see definitely that they got the green light, but and it's mm-hmm. definitely not just like your standard uh, physical production experience at all. But at the same time, they have to abide by the rules. Like the below the line workers are still there, and like mm-hmm. the, the union has to protect them and everything. And uh, I don't know. At the same time, it's just so so odd to see how like it's gonna work because at the end of the day, when you're doing physical production, it's like it's a uh, what's it called um uh, a close range sort of business mm-hmm. or a close range like workspace i think it's called where you work with a bunch of people in a very close proximity for a long period of time yeah so i wonder if they'll try to like lessen the amount of people on set or i bet they'll only be able to like but how's that gonna work because i know it's just so interesting to see and like everybody just has to get so creative on on I think it it's it's definitely going to be interesting because I feel like nothing like this is I feel like a pandemic like this hasn't happened since 1920. And obviously the film industry is a lot different from 1920. Now. I mean, in 1920, yeah, that was 100 years ago. They're really like it, everything. Like there were no big yeah. production studios and stuff like that. I think this I part of me like not that it was a it's a very good learning thing to happen like to have these I think it changed like the way like I think it will change forever how we go about things in the film industry yeah but um it is very I think it's interesting to look at it and think like I wonder how it'll be whenever we're working there if it'll be different yeah definitely definitely a lot more protocols now Mm -hmm. at least um uh, the equipment i mean the industry is going to be better prepared to deal with yeah. something of this magnitude really and it really just affects everybody all across the board it really does i mean definitely affects some people more than others specifically like the below the line workers mostly mm-hmm. but they're they are an essential part of the business like yeah. you can't really do physical production without them or anything I mean, you can't really have a movie without the yeah. people who work behind the scenes exactly so and it's and it's because they work such in close quarters too so i don't know the the like how it's gonna be done like everybody's gonna have to wear a mask and also like the like when you're in physical production the the hours can be like brutal Mm -hmm. i bet that's gonna have i have a feeling that the work days will be shorter at first yeah not to or I bet everyone's going to have to get COVID screenings as well. Probably they're going to have to get COVID screened before going on set mm-hmm. or anything. But it's, I don't know. It's just so interesting to see how it's going to, like, elaborate in general. 